I am Skylar Paul. I'm a developer with Zenata Consulting, and our tip of the week this week was making click messages into tasks on Connect. Now, first things first, we're going to want to go to zenata.com, our website, and we're going to go to the CRM Zen page. Now, here you can find all our podcasts, and what we're going to be in need of is found episode 84 at the very bottom. You're going to go under tips and tricks, convert a message to click on task with Zoho. One, you're going here because you're, this is where you're going to find all the code you need uh, to actually uh, convert the tasks. Now, next up, we can begin. Uh, the first thing you're going to need to do is make a connection between click and connect. Now, you do this, you click on your icon, go to bots and tools, and connections. I already have one here, so let's just show it. Once there, you're going to go. Zoho Authentication, Zoho Connect, and you're going to find a list here. You're going to have to scroll all the way down, and you're going to get Network List. You're going to have Read and Tasks, both Read and Create, and you're going to want to check Use Credentials to Login Users. After that, you can actually begin. You're going to start with a message action. You're gonna, let's create a message action. Let's do um, Make Message a Task. That is pretty self-explanatory, so let's copy that, bring it down here for the hint, and we'll s make it so the organization can use it, everybody can use it, and we'll have just save and edit the code. But before you actually can do any of the code, you're going to want to make a function as well. So let's just create a function here. Let's name it message tasks. And uh, make messages uh, tasks, make messages tasks on connect uh, and we're gonna make that a form because uh, that is what the page actually has it's all forms so next we're gonna go to back to the message actions and we're gonna edit the code so first you're gonna go here and you'll find the first set of code here so just copy that over and bring it over and there's two things you're going to need to do here. You're going to need to give your connection name, which for me is Zoho Connect. And the second one, what they don't tell you, is you're going to need to name the function your function name. So up for us, it was message task. Perfect. And once that's done, you're good to go. You can just hit save. Perfect. Then you're going to go to the functions. Uh, message tasks, edit, and first you're going to do the form change handler. Once there, just scroll down a little bit further, and you're going to just copy again. All right, perfect. There's two places here. You're going to also need to delete the entire comment, otherwise the code will not work. So you're going to put in the connection name, connection name twice. Perfect. And then you're going to go to the submit handler. And this one is only going to have one place where you're going to need to put the connection name in. And that will be right here at the bottom. Then you're going to hit save. And perfect. That is done. Fairly simple, fairly easy. Now let's just, uh, uh, Josh, welcome to the team. Let's just make that a task. Uh, make message a task. Now first thing, you're going to actually have to allow it to access all this stuff. And you're, you can select the network. So if we're going to do Zenata. I will allow external APIs, and we could select any of the boards, specific boards you want to add it to. Uh, then you could select any section on those boards. You can uh, adjust the title. This will let's copy that. Let's make it welcome, and then let's make that the description. Uh, you can assign a due date. Make it let's say it's due Friday. Uh, assignees, you can sign any assignee. Uh, and the priority, this is low priority, and uh, there you go, add task, that should be done, so let's go over here, 
tasks, internal tasks. And there we go, just added in. Uh, just added it, perfect. All right, that is the Zenata tip of the week. This is Skyler Paul. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.